Hey everybody, welcome back to Ox Talks. It is Tuesday, July 30th, 2024, sitting here uh, in uh, Rome. Uh, just wanted to just check in briefly. Uh, behind me, you can see the square I'm sitting in. Uh, this cute little place here, uh, there's a little cafe, and our hotel is right up there, basically. Everything is organized here, these little squares. It's real cool. I thought I would just check in. I'm sitting here in a ratty t-shirt, uh, just relaxing before we get packed up. So we leave tomorrow, Rome time, 9.30 uh, in the morning. And interesting part is we land at LAX at uh, 12.30 in the afternoon, something like that. So it's pretty cool. I mean, we pick up nine hours. So we take off and land uh, the same day. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, I react to the uh, to the traveling. I've had a fantastic trip. I just wanted to say hi here, let you let you see this uh, view behind me. I know it looks like the cars are getting kind of close to me here, swinging behind, uh, but it's not that crazy. I just want to let you see this a little bit, get a feel for what the streets look like here. Uh, everything is just old, right? I mean, it's been here for so long. A lot of people get around here on these little scooters, um, you know, rented bikes, electric bikes. You can see those all kind of behind me and motorcycles. I um, wanted to just say a couple things I'm seeing this morning that maybe don't pertain directly to all of us in the United States, but I hope you're paying attention to uh, what is happening in uh, Venezuela uh, because they had the election results yesterday. Uh, Maduro uh, supposedly has been reinstated as the president of, uh, of Venezuela. The opposition party is claiming that the election was stolen and that they obtained uh, a, uh, they actually won the election that it was stolen. So we have a lot of uh, protests going on in Venezuela. I'm watching a lot of uh, statues being toppled, uh, things being burned, uh, protests, a lot of uh, civil unrest. And look, uh, you know, we all think that can't happen in uh, the United States. But look, we need to be watching this because I would not uh, be too sure about that. You know, you have a situation where um, we have the election selection process coming up in November, and there's a lot of people on, uh, let's say, both sides of the debate, if you will. A lot of people that do not, at all costs, as we know, we saw what happened, uh, the attempted assassination a couple weeks ago of uh, Donald Trump, uh, that do not want him to be in office at all costs. So let's uh, just pay attention to what's going on internationally. It's funny when, when I'm here sitting in uh, in Italy, uh, it, it, it doesn't feel like I'm thousands of miles away from home and in a different country, but obviously uh, I am. So we always look at things as if it doesn't pertain to us because uh, it is, uh, it, it's, it's over there, right? But when you're actually over there, whatever there is, uh, it sinks in that you know, it is, uh, it's, it's not necessarily as far away as you think. And you would think that we have a system set up where this can't happen. We know what happened in 2020, right? With the election then. So I'm not raising any red flags necessarily. I'm not trying to instill any kind of, uh, you know, uh, panic or uh, doom and gloom. Just saying, look, pay attention to what's happening in Venezuela, okay? I saw a couple things come out today on the uh, the earnings. Uh, there were some misses on some of the earnings. Stock market's not fending too well as of right now. I know it's early there uh, in the United States. But I did see that the consumer confidence uh, numbers came in, and they are the worst since 2021. So, again, we have to go back, uh, you know, three years 
uh, to find a point where consumer confidence was as low as it is now. It was a Zero Hedge article. I don't have it in front of me, so I can't recite all of the data points. Check it out for yourself. I'll leave your comments below. Let me know, uh, you know what, what you think. So I wanted to do a short video today, let you see people walking behind me uh, in, in the square that I'm sitting in here, uh, the cars. We did the Vatican tour today. Uh, it was, I, I posted some photos of it. We could not take photos or video inside the Sistine Chapel, uh, but I did get a few videos as we were walking through uh, Vatican City, uh, when we were entering Vatican City. So Vatican City is a separate country uh, meaning uh, Rome, Italy is separate. It's a separate country from Vatican City. Uh, again, do your research on that. I haven't spent too much time analyzing it, but it's kind of uh, interesting to, to, to think about that. And the tour guide that we have was explaining to us uh, that situation. So everything's fine here. Uh, we had a, a wonderful tour, just a lot of people, and it is not air conditioned inside uh, the Vatican. Now we got down towards the Sistine Chapel. It was air conditioned. Other than that, it was just brutal. A lot of people, uh, no air conditioning. They had fans set up, but not much airflow. Uh, so I don't do well, number one, with a lot of people. Number two, uh, with, with heat per se. I know you're laughing, saying, well, you live in the desert. Fair point, I, I get it, but at least I can be in air-conditioned uh, locations, air-conditioned vehicle of my choosing, unlike today. But again, something that we had to experience, had to see it. So hope you guys are checking out the posts I'm putting up, the photos, and some of the shorts I'm putting up uh, from the trip here. Someone commented uh, today on one of my videos or to one of the uh, one of the uh, photos I put up, saying, "Well, you know, unless you have a lawyer's." Uh, income or salary, uh, none of us are ever going to be able to afford to go on that trip. You know, the, I'm not posting this stuff to, to say, haha, look at me or brag. I'm posting this stuff to share it, to share it with you guys so that, you know, that you can hopefully live a little bit through me experience and what I'm seeing and what I'm viewing here, uh, which is obviously amazing history. And so that that's that's the purpose of that. Share it with, with family, with friends, with your children. Uh, you know, again, we're all in different situations. I'm not trying to come out here and say, you know, I'm the everyman. I, I, get, I understand that. That's never been uh, my approach, my perspective. Uh, I don't try to, let's say, sugarcoat or uh, rationalize, you know, my situation. Obviously, you know, uh, in the way we look at things, you know, I'm a middle class guy, but I understand that a lot of people are struggling. So during a time of struggle, I'm not trying to put salt in the wound here. I'm just doing this uh, post photos, post videos. So give you guys maybe a little bit of reprieve, let you see some different scenery, some different, different backdrops, uh, a little different culture, one that has a tremendous amount of, of, of history. So that's all this has been about. I hope that everyone takes that uh, the way that I'm intending it. So here about eight minutes. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sign off. We're we're gonna be packing up here. We're nine hours ahead. So right now, checking my watch, it is 6:05 p.m. here in Rome, and so we're gonna be having dinner tonight in a couple hours, and then packing up. We have to leave uh, like. I don't know, 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, our time uh, to make the trek. It's about 45 minutes to uh, the airport here. And then we are on a plane. I think it's about an 11 and a half hour flight, something like that. Uh, so it's going to be uh, interesting. But I'll check with you all. I'll, I'll touch base and do a, a video uh, back in when I'm back at home from uh, Oxtox uh, headquarters uh, from the office uh, here probably look to look for something on Thursday afternoon if not Thursday afternoon for sure on Friday please everyone stay vigilant uh, be be paying attention to what's happening watch what's happening abroad with Venezuela watch what's happening with the consumer numbers uh, watch what ha watch what's happening with corporate earnings a lot of these corporations are missing earnings guys uh, the job market is softening. Uh, things are not rosy. So hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Appreciate all of you being here. Subscribe, please, if you're not subscribed. Uh, support the channel. Uh, we are growing. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep coming out here and, uh, and sharing 
uh, information with you as we, as we let's say, kind of walk through this collapse, all of us uh, together unfolding in real time. So I won't keep it much more than about 10 minutes today. Again, walked three hours this morning, uh, getting a lot of walking in, not getting my regular gym workouts in, but that's not a problem. Like I said on my last video, you just adapt to your situation, whatever you have. You don't have to have some fancy gym. Uh, you can get your steps in, you can get some push-ups in, sit-ups in. I've been doing that a bit uh, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the room. Uh, so please, please take that to heart if you can. I'm not lecturing you. Uh, but we all need to get more healthy. Uh, I will tell you that I'm seeing here uh, in uh, in Italy and in France, boy, I, I won't say healthier people, you just can't tell. I'm seeing a lot of smokers, a lot of vapors, I'm not passing uh, judgment on anybody. I'm just finishing up here uh, a, uh, a Cuban Cohiba because they have them here. And so I have, uh, availed myself of the opportunity to partake with a Cohiba, a Cuban Cohiba cigar. So again, not, not beating up on smokers, just saying I'm seeing a lot more of that. But I also see less, uh, less obesity, okay? Less uh, super heavy people. And uh, whatever, we, we, we know what's happening with the health crisis in America, with the diabetes rampant, with the prescription drugs, with all of this stuff. We gotta find a way just to go back to becoming healthier, eating better, uh, and becoming more resilient. Appreciate, again, all of you. Thanks for your comments. I apologize for not having a chance to respond to most of them over the last few days. Thanks for uh, letting me come out here in, in my ratty, uh, wrinkled uh, t-shirt. If you can read this, it says Bank of Dad, uh, and it says fast cash, uh, no credit check, uh, same day loans. My kids got me that, very, very appropriate. So appreciate all of you. I'll talk to you here in a couple of days, bye.